And this research investigated the flight response of mallard ducks in response to approaching vehicles. We used two complementary experimental arenas, a simulated vehicle approaches, which is showing these ducks a video of an approaching vehicle, and then real vehicle approaches in the field. We know from previous research that vehicle speed is one of the things that's really going to affect whether or not a bird is able to safely escape from an approaching vehicle. Speed is also going to uh, affect spatial and temporal components of their response. And so we were interested in looking at vehicle speed to see how it would affect mallard responses. But we also wanted to incorporate a new variable that heretofore has not been tested in the context of avian vehicle collision studies, which is the time of day. That is, are mallards going to respond differently to vehicles during the day versus at night? And so what was significant about our findings? Well, between the two arenas that we had, simulated and real vehicle approaches, our variables of interest affected the mallard response differently. For the simulated vehicle approaches, we saw that mallards were far less likely to respond at all to the vehicle approach during the night. However, if they did respond, they were doing so with a lot more time before a potential collision than their daytime counterparts. In the field experiments, we saw mallards displaying a response that previously hasn't been seen in birds responding to vehicles, which is a delayed margin of safety. In a delayed margin of safety, we see the distance and time before collision decreasing as vehicle speed increases. Essentially, the mallards are allowing a faster vehicle to get much closer to them before they flee. Now, this again indicates that speed is one of the most important factors affecting whether or not a collision is going to take place. And this is also supported by our finding that the probability of a successful avoidance by our mallards also significantly decreased as speed increased. And so what are the big takeaways from this research? Well, the bottom line of these findings is that mallards are often going to be unequipped to adequately respond to vehicles approaching them at very high speeds. They often don't flee at all. And when they do flee, it's going to be with inadequate time to escape more often than not. And because of the incredibly high speeds of modern vehicles, the best thing we can really do is to avoid vehicle encounters with mallards entirely. And we know when mallards are going to be the most active, especially in large numbers. It's going to be during migration period, and this is often going to be at night. And these are likely going to be the most hazardous times to be occupying uh, essentially a danger zone for mallards, which is ground level to about a thousand meters in the air. And moreover, it's clear that something is getting lost in translation for these birds. Either they don't feel sufficiently threatened by vehicles enough to flee, or they aren't able to detect them fast enough to adequately respond. And so we hope that future research will explore the difference in perceived threat levels between approaching vehicles and a bird or animal's uh, natural predator. And we also hope that research will work to make approaching vehicles more visually salient, that is easier to see at longer distances. Uh, and we hope that by doing this, we can work to mitigate future bird strikes with vehicles. Thank you very much for your interest in our research.